Greetings, dear ones. I'm Cryon, the Magnetic Service. Everything we describe to you in all of the channelings where we talk about shift and change have to do with the two words, new paradigm. And if you had to define paradigm as we do, it's going to be life. The way things work, all things, not just in one sector or one seeming place that you might be, not just in, in spirituality, but everywhere. And if that's the case, dear ones, you're going to see it starting to happen on the planet, and you are. But how about in a practical sense for you, right now as you sit in the chair, as you listen, in some cases read, what's next for you? If you are at a juncture in your life, and it seems like things are different, or perhaps there are decisions that you wish to make. The first thing you might ask is, why am I feeling the way I'm feeling? To some, there is anxiety for even the simplest things, because you're on a threshold, or at a threshold, or part of a threshold, that seems odd or feels, feels different. And so what the answers normally are to the adult mind is, I am here because of ABC and I will go in a place and do something because it's ABC. In other words, the ABC is known. It's what would be expected of any logical mind that is next for you. What I want to tell you is this, is that I want you to pause for a moment. If there is a paradigm shift, that means that what you white, white really are expecting in the whiteness of light as opposed to the darkness you've been in, then that, that whiteness is going to create another paradigm. You're moving from one color to another. You're, you're moving from a darker to a lighter. And if you apply that metaphor to consciousness and a paradigm, that means you cannot then count on the things you counted on before to be a certain way. And that's good news. Because I'll tell you, the things that happened a certain way in the past were not all that great. So you sit at a threshold and you'll say, oh, I'll push here, I'll try this, but that won't work. It hasn't worked in the past. I'll try it anyway. You've already decided what you think may or may not work based upon what others have seen that did or did not work. Maybe it's a time of life for you. Every single human being is part of the clock that winds in a certain direction always forward and produces Decision time, whatever that is. Sometimes you might be young and the decision time is when your children are gone. Or maybe the decision time is simply that they're graduated. Or maybe the decision time is that they are entering school. But there are decisions to be made that are different. And what I mean by different is this. Is you have to wipe away the expected result of common action. Wipe away the expected result of common action. You know people who have gone through what you're going through, or perhaps have been at this juncture you're at, or will be at. And you want to interview them and say, well, what's the best source? What shall we do next? And, what has worked for you? And that is common sense, dear ones, and that is what you would expect. But I'll tell you the difference. You're walking into a place 
than no one's been. And you can get as much advice as you want to, but dear ones, if you're walking in with a consciousness that's wide open and knows these things that I'm telling you, it's all different. And that is the best news I could ever give you. Because the expected things will not necessarily be what you're going to get. Is it time to apply for something? I'm talking to somebody in here. What do you expect? What are the fears that you carry into that next section of where you're going? What have you been told? How many times have I sat in front of you? And said that when you go to the doctor, it's almost like it's a judge and a jury and a sentence based upon the past. Good medicine will change because the paradigm is different with who you are. And so the doctor may be right for everything that has happened in the past, but not for you. And so what do you do with that? You listen and understand that is an old paradigm that the doctor believes in, and that's not yours. There are so many individuals in the situation like you are in right now. Whether it's an action you must take, a time of life, or perhaps even health. Or I'm going to tell you the slate is clean where you're going. You can write what is going to happen to you. Not expecting what is going to happen. This is the most difficult thing for a human to know. Years and years ago, I gave you a parable called the parable of the missing bridge. It was about a man named Woe. It always is a Woe man. <laughs> he was going along a road and he was about to cross a bridge he had always crossed when he realized it was missing and it was gone. And the temptation at that point in time was to stop, examine what are the alternate routes. But Woe did not, because Woe was a new human. He knows what you know. He knows that the slate is clean. And instead of stopping, he went faster. Knowing that around the corner, there would be something that would tell him what's next. What he didn't expect was around the corner coming into view was a brand new bridge that had been under construction for at least 10 years that was out of sight and he sailed across it. There are things in the ethers, dear ones, if you want to call it that, under construction for you. And if I talk to you in several months or years, you'd laugh and say, I, I didn't believe it, but listen to this. This person came forward. I found this out of the blue. Some say this or that took place. And the only difference is this. You expected it. Blessed is the human being who understands that they are not a victim of the circumstances of the paradigm that used to be earth. And that the very human that you are is instrumental in creating and painting the white that goes where you go. Expect good benevolent change in your life. Not the opposite. Not what people have told you or what has happened to others that you have seen. That was another time, dear one. You stand now worthy, magnificent, and God views you in that way. You're a catalyst to the rest of the planet who sees the way you act, no matter what happens next here. No matter what odd thing takes place that you read about or see about, know that you are above it all. 
in the things that will be attracted to you because you expect them. It's almost like a magnet. It's almost like you're giving an order in a restaurant and here it comes and here it comes and here it comes. And there's so many who have experienced this who I could put on a stage right now and in tears they will give you the best stories you have ever heard of how they're still alive today because they didn't buy in to an old paradigm. Of how they're in control of things they always felt they were out of control in. Of how they've mastered the unmasterable because they took a breath and said, I am magnificent. These things and more and better will happen to me. Where are you in this scenario? It's practical. The earth changes. The shift is upon us. We've given you all of these things before. But as you sit in the seat with the things you must do next, I want you to know it's beautiful. Relax. Take a breath. And move forward in love, expecting benevolent things in your life. And they'll be there. This is a new paradigm where light is winning. And it may sound odd and unusual and unbelievable. Let it sound that way. But be the one to disprove it. Disprove the old adages that people have told you and instead walk forward and then tell the people around you the wonderful things that have occurred to you. And when they start asking you why, you can say because it's a new paradigm on this planet where love is beginning to win. There's more. There will be. Always will be because of what is going on that's different than even yesterday or the day before. Go from this place having been changed a little by what you heard today. Claim it as your own. And if you do, then there was a reason why Cryon is here. And so it is.